Peace, peace. Oh, let me get everything going together. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me clear? <clears throat> Put some sevens up if you can hear me. All right, I'm going to get the intro going here in a second. <clears throat> so I'm going I'm to add the intro, and then we'll be right back in a second. Come on, man. Hold on for a second. I'm having some troubles with the with the live. Eagle Pass, Texas right now. A huge hub. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. I'm having a lot of trouble with uh, the video footage and everything. But where everybody from tonight? Put what state, what, what city, what country you are from? We got Trinidad in the house. We got United Kingdom. We got Cincinnati, Houston, Texas. We got Maryland, Gary, Indiana, Arlington, Virginia, Missouri in the house, Illinois, Bronx, New York. Boston, okay, Indianapolis in the building, Philly, okay, my boy Andre in the building, Evansville, Indiana, okay, we got Jade in the building, Evansville, Indiana, we got Belgium, Jackson, okay, so with that being said, let me get this off the screen here. All right. <clears throat> so uh, tonight's transmission is really based on the fact that, you know, there's a lot of things that's taking place as far as, you know, uh, you got a civil war that's going on. You got many different psychological operations that's going to be taking place. And it's basically going to be used in a form of a distraction to deviate the chosen ones from their purpose. Right. So one thing you got to understand is about, you know, uh, the old system in itself was acclimated to the Piscean age, which is the basically the personification of the third dimension, meaning that everything was based on deception and fallacies. So when you have all those things phasing out, as we go into the sun cycle, while Pluto's in Aquarius, there's a lot of things that's going to be taking place because it's basically the foundation of the energy of karma to where energy expands and returns to itself, right? By way of the cosmic pendulum. So, you know, you got to understand uh, one thing when it, when you're talking about the chosen ones, you know what I'm saying? Being chosen has nothing to do with what you got. It has nothing to do with any type of uh, form of materialism. It has, it doesn't have shit to do with money because when you understand money, money operates on a numerical system because numbers are basically infinite. So anything that's connected to money is not going to be acclimated to happiness because happiness is connected to the numerical system of numbers and numbers is infinite. So Nothing, you know, in this realm is never going to, you know what I'm saying, is never going to make you happy because anything that you, when you chase happiness, right, 
is actually going to run away from you, right? So you got to have the mental fortitude to become the vibration because when you change your mentality, you change your vibration. That vibration becomes magnetism. So everything that's acclimated to happiness is acclimated to the old world, right? As far as people, places, and possessions, you know, you got a lot of people who are trying to stagnate the evolution of the great awakening. You know what I'm saying? It's not just uh, only subjected to uh, the governmental elites. It's also your family members. You know what I'm saying? You got your aunts, your uncles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people you went to school with, you know, people, everybody is going against you because they know we're in this time period. Hold on for a second. Your computer froze up for a second. But like I said, we in this time right now, you know, a lot of things is taking place, man. So we you have to have the mental and spiritual fortitude to develop a certain mentality that's to where, you know what I'm saying, you be able to combat the energy of these negative forces that's propagated in the age of Aquarius, right? So as I was telling you before, being chosen ha doesn't have shit to do with materialism. It, you know what I'm saying? You're not chosen because you got a nice car. You're not chosen because you got nice clothes. You ain't chosen because you got nice shoes. You ain't chosen because you got a good ass job. You ain't chosen because you got a big ass house. You ain't chosen because you got a breast augmentation. You're not chosen because you got a BBL, right? Because it's all connected to materialism. What makes you chosen is using your spiritual gifts to combat the negative energy and the propagation of the arconic forces who control the Babylonian B system. That's what makes you chosen. So in this time we living in right now, you have to use those spiritual gifts because because they doing many different forms of incantations. They doing a lot of chaos magic. If it had let me show up some of these videos, because I've been having a lot of issues with these videos. Let me see. So I can show you what I'm talking about. Mm. All right. Whoa! What? Hold on for a second. All right. So what I'm saying is, is like everything that's connected to, you know, what I'm saying the material plane is going to be destruct is going to be in the age of destruction. Right. Because I told you this planet is going through a transitional process to where it's acclimated to karma. So everything, your businesses, your corp your corporations, your enterprises, it, it's all going to phase out. <clears throat> so you, that's why you shouldn't show so much credence and veneration to what you got. Because in the age of, of Aquarius, none of that shit matters. Everything reverts back to zero point energy. Man. Whoa. What? Push Viv, push Viv. All right, you good? You good? Oh my God. Jake, are you okay? Coming in. Get out of here. I don't know what it is. I'm having a lot of trouble. These videos is fro fr uh, fr freezing like crazy. <clears throat> but like I said, it's one of those things where, man, uh, nothing that's acclimated to the material plane <clears throat> is not going to last in the age of Aquarius. <clears throat> it's not going to last. That's why you shouldn't, you know, show credence to your job. Nobody cares about how much money you got. Nobody cares how much money that you're making. Nobody cares that, you know what I'm saying, you was the freshest. Nobody cares, you know what I'm saying, that just because you feel like you're beautiful or you're handsome or whatever, none of that stuff matters in the age of Aquarius, right? Because like I said, we in the golden age and it's basically the foundation of knowing. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. 
It's basically the foundation of knowing. It has, you know what I'm saying? Everything that was connected to the Piscean age is basically, you know, one of those things where it was connected to deception, belief in the age of darkness, right? So if I can get these other videos going, but I still got pictures. So one thing you got to understand as you know what I'm saying? Let me see. They'll let me show it. You know what? We're going to do this here. Hold on for a second here so I can show you guys what's going on. <clears throat> like I said, the planet is going through a state of karma. <clears throat> so what's taking place right now in Texas, <clears throat> you have a lot of people that's crossing the borders, right? And a lot of them are sleeper cell agents. The great majority of sleeper cells. So what is a sleeper cell? A sleeper cell <clears throat> is a call sleeper cell is a spy who is placed in a target country organization not to undertake an immediate mission, but instead to act as a potential asset if activated. So with that being said, when you're talking about these sleeper cells, right, you have to be very meticulous about what's going on at your job you got to be very meticulous of everything that's going on around you right because you know a lot of these things a lot of these uh immigrants that's crossing the border a lot of them you know what i'm saying some of them are immigrants because they you know looking for freedom and things of that nature and looking for some type of liberation but the great majority of them are actually acclimated to the united nations military factions right the great majority of them are connected to the infrastructure of the military that's being controlled by the infrastructure of the Democratic Party, right, which is the deep state shadow government. So what I'm saying is, it's like, you know, they're going to use that as a black swan event to basically overturn the election because they want to combat the energy of a republic that's connected to the sun cycle, which is under a matriarch. So don't be surprised, you know what I'm saying, you have a, a, a an event that's going to be taking place kind of like what happened in the movie Red Dawn. So what's going to take place is, you know, we're going to be infiltrated from the inside out. You're going to be infiltrated from the inside out, and it's all going to be weaponized by the deep state shadow government, which is the Democratic Party, right, which is basically controls the de facto corporation. So another the reason they're doing that is to inflate the numbers on the votes, right, to extend the timeline to implement a different corporation. That's another reason why they're doing what they're doing. So for, for those of you, you know what I'm saying, who work jobs, you know what I'm saying, whereas a lot of people and a lot of immigrants come there, you got to be very meticulous of your surroundings because a lot of those people, you know, those immigrants is coming in, a lot of them are military and they just waiting on that call to, you know what I'm saying, for, for, the, uh, the, for the psychological operation to take place, for the terrorist attack to take place. Right. For those of you who work in factory jobs, you got a lot of those sleeper cells, those immigrants coming in. If you pay attention to them, ask some questions. You know what I'm saying? Ask like, you know, just be very meticulous of your surroundings. So a lot of those people are in, in the military. So it's going to be one of those things where you're going to be infiltrated from the inside out. I have a video that basically shows that. If it'll let me play it. Hold on for a second. If the let me play it.
Man, I'm having a lot of trouble with these. <laughs> anyhow, <clears throat> I'm sure you get the picture. But anyhow, what I'm saying is, you know, you got to be very meticulous. A lot of those immigrants are just not immigrants. A lot of them immigrants are actually military that's connected to the United Nations military factions. And they also hire them inside of the uh, the police force. And I told you the police force also has a secret force, which is a United Nations force. They got two different uniforms. Right. And there's another video that's going around uh, talking about I told people about you know there's going to be many different things when you have uh when you're talking about the grid going down right so that's why the north atlantic uh treaty organization organization uh the nato you know they was basically facilitated and they galvanized their resources to combat you know the cyber attacks right that's going to be implemented by russia so when you're talking about you know russia and things of that nature that's all acclimated to uh, one of the things where, uh, Malcolm, what are you doing? Yeah, but um, it's all acclimated to, you know what I'm saying? It's all acclimated to Russia because Russia is also allies with Iran and Iran is going to implement the cyber attack. So that's why it's imperative to understand that NASA, they just bought and purchased a whole bunch of uh, cars from ninth from the 1970s. I got a video of it, but I'm having tr trouble with these videos. Why does NASA have all these? Oh my God. I ain't using StreamYard no more. I'm done with it. But hold on for a second. But yeah, this is a video of showing that in the 19, uh, it's showing NASA purchasing cars from the 1970s. Because I told you when the grid goes down, you cannot operate a vehicle after 1975. I told y'all that about a year, a year ago, a year and a half ago or something like that. But they purchased these vehicles, right? So they actually preparing for the cyber attack that's going to go down. It's not everything, friend. So like I said, you got to, you know, be very meticulous of everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because when you have when you at the apex of a fourth turning, when you at the apex of a system, right? That's basically the foundation and the symbology of the fact that when you back an animal into a corner, you know, they're going to create many different mechanisms for uh self-preservation, for survival. So they're going to hit you with an EMP. They're going to hit you with a civil war. They're going to hit you with a fake alien invasion, right? So that's why it's imperative for the chosen ones to start using their spiritual gifts, right? You have to use that intuitive ability, right? You have to use your uh, your use your use octave vibration to speak the truth and, and put out the edification to combat, you know what I'm saying, all the fallacies that's being propagated by, you know, the multimedia. That's what's going on. Go ahead, go ahead. So, the, hey, when you get done, you got to sit down, okay? Okay. But that's what's going on. That's what's taking place. So, that's what's taking place, right? So, there's another thing that's going on. Let me find the... I don't know. I keep free. It keeps freezing me up. I never have computer problems until today. So let me get this screen share going. All right. <clears throat> All right. Since I'm having so much trouble, 
with the videos. Let's see if we, you know, we can do with the pictures. Now, everything that's taking place is all connected to this movie here. It's like when you look at the his Dallas uh, Dallas Cowboys hat, right? Everything that's happening in Texas is a psychological operation, right? Which is connected to a form of chaos magic. So it's not a coincidence then when you watch the movie, when the, the trailer of the movie Civil War, it showed this, uh, this Western Forces flag, which is basically the symbology of Texas and California joining forces to combat what's taking place at the borders, right? So when you watch these movies, a lot of these movies are not just movies. A lot of these movies are actually one of those things where it's, a, uh, it's, it's called chaos magic, where it amplifies uh, the manifestations that's connected to the ethers and it's connected to your subconscious mind. So if they put it out there enough through the realm of probability, whether you write it down, you put it in a book, you put it in a damn movie, whether if you, it's one of those things where it has to manifest, right? And they understand that occultic magic because they got it from our ancestors and they using it against us, right? So it's all extracted by fear, just like the, uh, the World Economic Forum, uh, let me see. There's another thing they do is called uh, where is it at? Oh, for a second. There's another ritual they do is called the masking ritual. I want my winning I want my winning I want my winning Why? Why should I? See, what she's doing, or he, there is, it's actually called the masking ritual because, like I said, it's amplified through a form of chaos magic. Chaos magic, uh, it operates through animal magnetism to where it manipulates the subconscious mind to where they're able to extract the energy of fear by way of the media, right? Where it gets to, where it gets the term Medea. So it's all a form of chaos magic. It's all, it's all a form of witchcraft to extract fear into the energy of humans, right? So there's another video I need to show you guys. So it's not a coincidence. Prepare for the next one. That it's not a coincidence that Bill Gates put this out about three years ago, two years ago. If it'll play. You know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That you know, I'd say is uh will get attention this time. So we so that's so they already know what's gonna be taking place because they're doing a lot of these rituals. A lot of these rituals is acclimated to chaos magic, right? And they got that from our ancestors. As a matter of fact, a lot of the Hopi tribe, they used to do a lot of uh, chaos magic. So let me see something here. All right. I want to show you these other videos, but I'm having trouble with a lot of these videos. But with that being said, if anybody got any questions, y'all can uh, send some in the chat. Hit me up with some questions because I'm having trouble with these videos and they're not going to let me play a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Is anybody going to send me some questions? Also, what I'm going to start doing, you know, what I'm saying as far as, you know, 
just because you have a platform doesn't mean that you've chosen. That's one thing. Just because you have some pop of, uh, popularity, that does that that doesn't mean essentially mean that you're chosen. Because you know what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start opening my platform and giving people the privilege, you know, to speak their own truth. Because there's a lot of people who are chosen, they just don't have a platform and they feel like they don't have a voice. So I'm gonna start opening my channel when I go live. I'm gonna start bringing people on here so they can, you know, give out their edification and give out their own ideology ideologies about what's going on. Let me see what questions we got in here. Now, th there's many different safe zones. You have safe zones. The great majority, in my opinion, I think they're in the Midwest. And the reason I say that, because you have many different cavern systems. So, just like you have Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. Mammoth Cave, Kentucky is connected to the subterranean utopian kingdom of Shambhala and Nargartha. So that's all connected to the uh, Tibetan mythology and things of that nature. So anywhere in the Midwest, kind of like, you know, uh, Indiana, Kentucky, uh, what else? Illinois, you know, Oklahoma and stuff like that. God damn. This damn thing keeps freezing. But America is not safe because America is going through a, a state of judgment. America is one of those things where, you know, just because of, you know, theocracy and imperialism, you know, racism, classism, capitalism. That was all connected to patriarchy. So since we out of the infinity loop of the Kali Yuga cycle, it has to revert back into an energy of karma. So America is not safe. It has to go through a uh, a desolation process in order to uh, get back the matriarchal energy and the people who's connected to the land. All right. We're going to get some more questions in here. Let's see what we got. I already have a safe zone video too, by the way, if you go uh, look through all my videos. I say around the time when you start seeing um, Anytime you see the, you know, certain flags being waved up, because you do have a uh, United Nations uh, American flag, too. It has three stars on it. When they start hanging flags like that, that is basically the symbology of the fact that everything is about to go down. I think it's a uh, it's an 1871 uh, flag. It has three stars on it. It's not like the one that I just showed. That is a uh, uh, the Western Forces flag of California and Texas. But there is a United Nations flag that they have to where when FEMA's activated. <clears throat> Let me see some more questions we got. Oh, Malachi, you can't be you gotta be quiet for a little bit, okay? Uh I'm seeing a lot of, you know, just opinions. I'm not getting no questions. Because we want to talk about everything that's connected to what's taking place as far as like the Civil War. If you got extraterrestrial questions. That's cool. We can talk about everything. But what is it? Man, I'm tired of this uh, stream yard, man. But yeah, you're gonna start seeing it because when the um, when the sun, they say the sun is supposed to reach solar maximum around the time of July. So 
we all know that when the sun reaches solar maximum, that is basically the activation of the Schumann resonance. And the Schumann resonance is basically the heartbeat of the planet Earth, right? So you're going to have many different uh, chaotic energies that's hitting the planet that's going to, you know, manipulate the neurological faculties of humans on the planet to where many things is going to be taking place. Because during the time when the sun was at solar maximum uh, back in 1781, that's when you had the French Revolution. And you had all these revolutions that was taking place during that time period. And it was all because the, of the chaotic energy of the sun. All right. Let me see what else we got. No, not that one. In order, in order to be chosen, like I said, you gotta be Malachi. You can. I'm on the. In order to be chosen, you gotta be, you know, tapped into an energy of purpose because when you're talking about, you know, the so-called Elohim, Anunnaki, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you're no use for them, right? That you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people think that you know these extraterrestrial beings, they're like emotional beings. No. What can you do for them? Can are they able to utilize you in a great awakening period? Right? What 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 do you have to bring to the table? Do you have some type of truth to bring to the table? You know what I'm saying? Do you have some type of healing to bring to the table? It's one of those things. Are you able to galvanize? people to where they can unify in a form of har harmonic convergence that's what it's all about it has nothing about you know what i'm saying oh i feel like i like this person or that person's connected to that bloodline just because you got melanin and carbon doesn't mean that you're going to make it at the next level it doesn't mean that you're going to make it in the great awakening period they ain't, that is not it's not what it's about you know what i'm saying a lot of people think they you know they safe just because they got carbon and melanin everybody got melanin It keeps freezing up, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got melanin. Everybody got everything. Everybody got carbon. But like I said, what type of melanin do you got? Just because you a so-called black person does not mean that you chosen. That is the biggest fallacy of the propagation of spirituality, because spirituality is about having the mental and the spiritual fortitude to not be tricked. That's what makes you chosen, right? Let me see. What else questions we got in here? I didn't mean to put that one. Y'all going so fast in here, I can't even see nothing. Let me see. All right. I'm uh this vid. Well, I'm glad you asked that question because that's gonna. This is gonna be my next video. My next video I'm gonna be doing is actually, you know, connected to the fact that, you know, artificial intelligence is being facilitated for a, an energy extraction. It's an energy extraction that's connected to the metatronic overlay of the matrix system. So, so with that being said, the technological devices in itself in artificial intelligence extracts neurons from our body and uploads into a neuromorphic cyber cloud. And that neuromorphic cyber cloud is basically the foundation of the reptilian technology. That's what it's going to be about. So that's all connected to the interstellar uh, ley line grid system. And it's all connected to uh, the electrical devices of the grid system. And we're going to be talking about the seven energy points. So that's what that my next video is going to be about. And if you if you new in here, hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? 
get everything out there. I don't really go live too much because, as you can see, I'm having a lot of uh, technological difficulty difficulties with the uh, with the videos, and it keeps skipping. Let's see what we got. I wish I was asked some some uh, practical and some good questions because a lot of this stuff really don't matter. Okay, it's good to know I ain't lagging for y'all, but it's lagging on my side. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Okay, super chat question. All right. Now, there's a diametrical difference between two different types of grays. You got you got uh, Ramardian grays, then you got zeta, zeta reticular grays. Now, the zeta reticular grays, they're connected to uh, the Orion factions. When you're talking about the Majestic 12, which is comprised of the Draconian Reptilian, Ashtar Command, which is the negative faction of the Pleiadians. And then you have, um, yeah, the Draconians, the Zeta Reticular Greys, and Ashtar Command. They are the ones who control uh, the simulation on the dark side of the moon for uh, energy extraction for reincarnation purposes. Hold on. Now, like I said, you you can also hit up the super uh, super chat too as well if you don't have the ability to do cash app. Because, like I said, you know I'm not one of those people. You know, uh, it's I I put a lot of emphasis on not asking people for money. I'm not one of those people. I will never ask nobody for nothing. You know, what I'm saying I will never. Be like, oh, you got to give me this amount of money to do something for you. I will never do nothing like that. But through the laws of reciprocity, you know, if you want to give something to me, I got to accept it because I'll be blocking your blessings. Now, when you're talking about the children, because they say that, you know, in all monotheistic teachings, all ancient tablets or whatever, they tell you that when you at the apex of a system when the system is about to fall the great majority of children are going to be saved children are always safe you know what i'm saying now from a physical standpoint yes a lot of them you know what i'm saying a lot of things is going to be happening but on a spiritual level you know outside of the the physical existence of so-called death you know a lot of us is actually you know a lot of children are actually going to uh make it you know what i'm saying they're not going to be reincarnated back on this realm Insectoids are also part of the uh, the Majestic 12. They're very much so. So like I said, they also work in tandem with the Draconian factions. Oh, let me see. Uh, they said there's a scam on my page. Did somebody scam and get them out of the chat, please? Please and thank you. Let's see. I'm trying to get see if I can get some good questions. What happens when the children and babies? Are there? I mean, some of these is kind of self-explanatory. My cash app is on the screen. Uh, I 
He said, now this person said, would a small gray show itself to me? Why would Because like I said, you have many different grays. There's a lot of grays, you know, a lot of them, you know, they don't take corporeal form. And some of them also take corporeal form. Uh, if you watch the movie uh, Jupiter Ascending, it shows a lot of the grays. They was uh, basically, you know, able to dematerialize and come into existence because they operate through wormholes. So when you're going through a state of sleep paralysis, a lot of times you, those shadowy figures are not just uh, gray. Some of them are draconians, which you call a jinn in, uh, in the Holy Quran. Let me see, get some, uh, okay, I got some super chat questions. Okay, Sarah Smith says, why are black people still holding on religion in high regard? It's like they are brainwashing tactics. Because, you know, when you understand the infrastructure of all monotheistic religions, it works in tandem with the political system because the church and the state is not separate. They're all connected under ecclesiastical law, right? So that's why you got to read the federal laws and civil procedures, right? Because it's all connected to the 1724 Black Christian Codes. So now when you go to the G3526 Strong Concordance, the word Christian translates to the word Black, right? So when you call yourself a Christian, you're actually calling yourself Black. And the word Black is acclimated to the Black's Law Dictionary of the term civil mortus, meaning that you are civilly dead in the eyes of law because you're a so-called Black person. So that's why the religion in itself was being used as a weapon to take us out of our sovereign capacity. So the great majority of Christians or people who follow Catholicism, whatever religion you follow, like I said, it was a, a being used in a form of subjugation. It was a subjugate your sovereignty. It's to subjugate, subjugate your true spiritual energy. But like I said, the religion in itself is a sleep spell because the sleep spell is acclimated to the energy of the moon. The moon is connected to the age of deception and the age of deception is connected to the Piscean age, right? That's the age of darkness, the age of belief, the age of deception. That's what it's about. So that's why you see the great majority of blacks, they still connected to that energy, but you can't bring that energy into the sun cycle. Because the sun cycle is going to expose everything because the age of Aquarius is all about the age of knowing. We ain't, you ain't got to believe shit now. So that's why black people are still under that sleep spell. Oh, I got some more super track questions. Uh, does the ancestral spirit know where nowhere so move on to it depends like i said the uh the celestial body in itself is connected to the oversoul and the oversoul is the foundation the oversoul is the foundation of the zohar body when you activate the zohar body that is basically the etheric force that is the etheric core to the planet so a lot of people like i said the only way to activate that energy is if you activate the epikinetic body. The epikinetic body is where you activate the Akashic records. Mm. Let me see. Got some more super chat questions. Any info on the Schumer resonance activity in the past few days are saying the graph shows time travel. Yeah. Because I told you, ether is the quintessential alchemical element. It's the fifth element, right? It's the fifth element that sparks creation. And it's also the fifth element that basically destroys everything that's connected to the four basic elements of creation. So ether, right? Which is basically the symbology of the color spectrum green, right? Because the Schumer resonance is also working in tandem with the heart chakra. There's a tether connection, right? Because I told you the heart chakra is green. The Schumer resonance is green. The Schumer resonance is the heartbeat of the planet Earth. The word heart 
is another uh is an anagram for the word earth right so with that being said the schumann resonance spike you have in a uh uh, amplified energy that's coming from the magnetosphere and activating the magnetic field of the planet right so what happens is when light breaks into a dimension it reverses the polarity of time so you broke out of that Kali Yuga cycle to where these new energies come in these new fractions of light that's what's taking place let me see All right, let me get back in here. I got a lot more crap. I had to get the super chat questions first. All right. Have you noticed the ocean on Google Maps? Pretty? One thing that they hiding out there, they hiding the fact that, you know, the great majority of the oxygen on the planet is being amplified by the coral reef farms inside of the ocean, right? Because oxidation in itself, which comes from the coral reefs inside of the ocean, it breaks down the hemoglobin cellular structure to where it starts the aging process. But so now when you're in the age of Aquarius by way of the sun cycle, what happens is it, it basically uh, transmutes into an omnicron based atmosphere by going in the fourth octave ether. So, what they hide in the fact is, is that, you know what I'm saying, the planet is going through a metamorphic shift. You know what I'm saying? So as above, so below. So if the atmosphere is changing, the water is changing it as well. Lay down. Lay down till I get done, okay? I'm almost done. All right, let me see some more questions. The best way to plan is, you know, have a, a a bag, you know what I'm saying, a get ready bag in your car, have a, you know, tell your uh, your friends and your family, you know, get with like minded people. Because like I said, you know, what makes you chosen is, you know, to not be tricked by the system, to not be tricked. That's what makes, you know, that's what spiritual spirituality is all about. It's a not, you know, it's to not be tricked by the system. It's one of those things there where you got to galvanize your resources in order to combat the energies. Oh, let me get some. I see some more super chats questions. Explain Project Bluebeam to people. I don't know. Project Blue uh, Project Bluebeam is basically a, a psychological operation that they're going to use. It's going to be amplified by NASA. So it's basically to deviate you from the fact that the planet is going through a metamorphic shift. It's going through a shifting process. So in order to stagnate the spiritual evolution, in order to stagnate the Great Awakening, they got to hit you with, you know, a psychological operation. That's that's the best way they do it. So Project Blue Beam is when you have um, a fake alien invasion and they're going to use it with holographic and hologram technology. It's the same technology that they use, that the reptilians use to cloak themselves. It's called liquid crystal uh, technology. And I'm going to be doing a video about that. That's my next video about. It's about how reptilians shapeshift. Because shape shifting is not an ability; it's a technology. A lot of people need to understand that. Um, let me see. Shout out to everybody, man, that came in into the live tonight. Because, like I said, I'm gonna start doing a lot more lives. All right, politics and in a, in a, um, in Pluto and Aquarius. Pluto and Aquarius, uh, Pluto represents the material plane. Aquarius uh, represents uh, the age of knowing. So a lot of things as far as like, you know, your politicians, 
a lot of your salaries, they're going to be exposed during this time period. A lot of them are going to be exposed, you know. So it's one of those things where you can't put your trust into, you know, people who have, you know, uh, celebrity status or or corporate status or whatever. Because it's that's how you're going to get tricked. So the political system in itself, like I said, the Aquarian age is the foundation of the matriarch, right? Just like what's going on in Texas right now. Everything that's going on in Texas right now, the governor, he's a what? A Republican. He's going against who? Joe Biden, the deep state shadow government, democracy. Because I told you what the word democracy, where it comes from, right? It means uh, demonic rulership because Crossy is he created the Kratos and Kratos is Kronos and Kronos is Father Time, which is the God of Saturn, the Saturn moon matrix system, right? Meaning that you are trapped by time. You live in a frequency entrapment planet, right? So that's what it's all about. It's all about demonic uh, rulership. So the Republic is galvanized by the Aquarian age. So when you're talking about Democrats and Republicans, you're talking about the old system that was facilitated uh, by the deep state, which is democracy. And then you got the old system that was once uh, controlled by us under a matriarch, which is the Republic. So with that being said, that's why Donald Trump, he signed the... Uh, he signed the uh, the declaration of the second declaration of independence on July the fourth of twenty twenty. That was the restoration process of the republic, right? So that's why it's imperative to know you who you are. You know what I'm saying on a genetical level and on a spiritual level and on a uh, a socio political a socio political level. Let me see. Let me go into super chat real quick. We got some people in here. Now, there is a diametrical difference between the mythologies when you're talking about the Antichrist. To be an Antichrist means to be an anti yourself because anti yourself meaning that you need external stimulation by way of the material plane, the physical world that's connected to the Piscean age, right? But the personification of the Christ is the Christ consciousness that's connected to the Aquarian age because the Aquarian age is all about knowing. Because when you know, you ain't got to believe a goddamn thing because you know intuitively by way of the spiritual energy that's shifting the planet, right? So when these fractions of light hit the magnetites and the dendrites in the brain, which is the 144,000 crystals that ties the frequency of the soul and the mind together, to where you become a whole brain thinker, right? That activates the hypothalamus gland, which is the master gland that activates the spiritual eye. That is the Christ consciousness. So anytime that you anti yourself and you believe anything outside of yourself, you are the antichrist. So you're going to have a lot of people believing in the government. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to make them an antichrist. A lot of people going to believe these celebrities that's what's going to be their antichrist. A lot of people believe in Jesus, believe in Allah, everything that's connected to the material plane. That's what makes you an antichrist because you anti yourself. You're here to save yourself. Ain't nobody going to save your ain't nobody going to save your ass. That's what makes you a, that's what makes you an antichrist. Now, now they will have, according to the mythology of all monotheistic teachings, they are going to have uh, a false messianic figure that they're going to propagate through their system. Right. But the real Christ consciousness, the real Christ, the return of the Christ is you. Right. By way of the harmonic convergence of the one hundred forty four thousand. Right. Activated by the non ether energy. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's about. Now, let me see. We got 1,400 people in here. You know, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You know. Let me see. But like I said, there's going to be a false messiah. There will be a, a false messiah that they're going to try to, because it's, 
because what the Bible is, is actually a Freemasonic playbook. It's a Freemasonic playbook that is basically a blueprint for the for the end of the system of and and uh for the emergence of a, a so-called antichrist. All right, there's some more questions in here. Let me see this. Wherever Cecil's being created by the blind opinion of the means of war against itself. Well, it's like I said, it's all connected to the mythology of Yakub. Now, one thing you got to understand is about, you know, there is a misconception about the Great Awakening period. So when you understand the mythology of the so-called Bible, when you're talking about the book of Genesis, which means the genealogy of Isis. And when you break down the etymology of the word, it means the origins and production of something. Hold on. I froze up again. Hold on for a second. So like I said, you know, when you understand the mythology of the Bible, the book of Genesis talks about the origins and the production of something, which is equated to the genealogy of Isis, right? And the book of Genesis is talking about Yakub, right? Yakub or Jacob, which means subplanter. Jacob, Yakub means subplanter. So when you go to the Freemasonic principles, right? When you understand the genetical grafting of the recessive beings in 4086 BC on the island of Patmos, right? Jacob's ladder is a ritual that they do in Freemasonry because the Jacob's ladder is acclimated to the 33rd vertebrae. The 33rd vertebrae is synonymous to the fifth chakra. So the ascension process of Jacob's ladder is not acclimated to the recessive gene, uh, those who have recessive genes, because that means they, they're not going to able to raise up their spiritual vibration because they're not, not the they're not going to be able to activate those seven energy cortexes, the chakra system. So in order to, you know, vibrate at a high frequency, when you have these recessive genetical traits, you got to show credence to the ones who created you. That's the only way you can survive the shift. But if you have this uh, egotistical mindset that was connected to the old world, you know what I'm saying? You're going to fall when the system falls, right? So that's all connected to a form of uh, racism. So like I said, you know, uh, as many different mythologies, you know what I'm saying? You got many different, the uh, the cherubim or the 200 fallen angels, and they are the ones who uh, so-called created, you know, uh, the Hamites and the Canaanites and things of that nature. Damn. Gosh. <clears throat> Um, it depends on what frequency you're on, because like I said, if you're a very, uh, emotional person, a very emotional person, it can, you know, you could be manipulated spiritually because like I said, this system in itself, they supplicate your emotions and they transmute it into a weakness by way of emotionalism. So like I said, you gotta be operating from a balancement standpoint, zero point energy. Not too happy, not too sad. Because when you open yourself up with that frequency and that energy, that's when demons can can attack themselves to your energetic morphic field. That's when a demons can uh can attach to you. Yeah, I just got through eating, so like I said, I, I had to eat with my son because I got full custody of my son, so Everything I do is really just based on his time. So I so a lot of times I got to when I uh I do videos, I got to hurry up and eat and do the video, watch him and all that. So I don't really don't have as much uh free time as most people. Uh Hit me up with some more questions. OK. 
because we live and a lot of people do, we always say I don't answer their questions. So here we are. So I'm, I'm ready for the questions. Uh, now, like I said, the mythology of the reptilians or whatever, like every here's a here's one thing, you know, anytime anybody who has neuromelanin, you know, what I'm saying you do have the reptilian genetic as well, right? By way of the reptilian brain. So, like I said, the great majority of these Anunnaki beings, they have the ability whether if it's the cherubim and the seraphim, you know what I'm saying? Or it's the agreeable ones or the disagreeable ones. Everybody has the reptilian genetic. Everybody has the ability to shape shift. So what I'm saying is, is when you're talking about, you know, uh, a reptilian, when you go to uh, Dr. York's publication of the Holy Tablets, it talks about how uh, Enlil, he got manipulated by uh, Tarnush because Tarnush is the one uh, no, Enlil had the seven tablets of destiny, right? And he had those seven tablets of destiny. And that's why Zuen, who is Tarnush, who is the so-called personification of Shaitan, he befriended Enlil. So with that being said, that means that Enlil, you know, this is just based on my independent research. Enlil and uh, Yakub is basically the same person, according to what mythology that you that you follow. Because he also had a brother named Yushak, Yakub did. Just like you have Inky Enlil, uh, Cain and Abel. It's the same mythology. It's the same thing when you follow the stories. Let me see. You should not leave America, and I'm going to tell you why. Because when you go to, um, what was it? What was it called? Yeah, you go to the 1848 Supreme Court decision on June 6th. It tells you that the geographical landmass of America is connected to the five civilized tribes, Choctaw, Wichita, Yamansi, you know, Seminole. Because when you break down the word Seminole, it means fugitive slave. So we was already here. So why would you leave from a place that you actually belong to? That don't make sense to you while you have the restoration of the republic in the sun cycle. So, like I said, everything that, you know, as far as, you know, the geographical landmass of America, we own it for a million square miles. This landmass belongs to us. So why would you leave? Now, anytime like now for those who live in California and New York City, I would get out of those areas ASAP. Because that's where the great majority of these psychological operations is going to take place. A lot of these so-called terrorist attacks. One thing I don't do, I don't follow religion because I know what religion is. All forms of religion is the veneration of the cube of Saturn. Let me see this. Great mother has been introduced with the Bible. Yeah, that's a, everything that's taking place right now is they're basically trying to uh, bring the master teacher back. They trying to free up the master teacher because he should have been out of jail because he actually didn't do it. That, that, but that's a whole different video. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but when you're talking about a light shadow, one thing you got to understand is that a lot of these entities, when you uh, study the 72 demons of Goetia, a lot of these demons, they don't take corporeal form. And a lot of them can attach themselves to your energetic morphic field and control you by way of your nervous system, kind of like a video game controller. You know what I'm saying? They have the ability to uh, 
by controlling your energetic frequency by connecting themselves to your nervous system. That's why when you look at a lot of low vibrational people, the nervous system is compromised. Let's see what we got. I think we got some super chat questions. Hold on first. Let's see what, what kind of questions we got. Let's see. We got how long will the Galactic Federation give us a renew our contract? Now, that's a great question. Now, you know, that's all speculation because I can't really uh, say anything about that or whatever because I don't know because, you know, I can't really connect that uh that answer or what that question to uh, the time of uh, that's acclimated to the time of mankind, because like I said, you operating on a, on a man-made time clock and they're, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to match the frequency of the cosmic clock. So I don't know how long it will be, but like I said, that's a good question, but I do, but you can say, you know, their uh, economical system, Their economical system is connected to the cosmic clock. So they know when the system is going to collapse by way of their, uh, by biblical context and stuff. What is the particular global snap? Like I said, I think the grid is going to go down when the sun reaches solar maximum, because I, I told you around the time of the year 2025, that's when the sun, there's going to be three sun, no, it's going to be intrinsic solar radiation on the planet for like three days straight. I don't know why I keep lagging. It's going to be three days straight. It's going to be uh, sunlight for three days straight around the year 2025. And that's when you go to Revelation chapter eight, it talks about one third of the stars, one third of the sun smitten. Where do Africa? Now, this is a good question. Now, now when you go to uh, the Bible, you know what I'm saying? There is a diametrical difference between uh, the Canaanites and uh, the Hamites and, uh, uh, and, the, and the Semitic people. The Semitic people are the Bible are your so-called Negroes. Now, the Hamites are the dark races. So there's a diametrical difference between the Semitic people and the uh, Hamites, right? So because the, the Hamites are the progenitor of the dark races when you're talking about the East Indian, right? When you're talking about, you know, the Ethiopians and things of that nature, everybody from Africa, you know what I'm saying, just based upon the phenotype, those are two different types of people. Because, like, when you understand the story of Yakub, what happened was um, Yakub, he took the dark gene from the Semitic people and created uh, the other dark races that's connected to the seeds of Ham. So that's why when you understand uh, the genetical structure of the hair follicle of certain uh people who come from you know uh Ethiopia and I forgot the other place uh Etrian and stuff like that you know East Indians they all have straight hair because they were genetically spliced they are hybrid of something that's when you have uh the dematerialization of the hair follicle by way of a grafting process right so there you know 
the Semitic people and the Hamites are not the same people. They are not the same people. The Semitic people of the Bible are the Negroes, the so-called Negroes, right? That's, you know, your so-called chosen people. And the reason you know that is because where's your African Michael Jordan? Hold on, I didn't paused up for a second. I hate this fucking game. All right, where where's your African Michael Jordan? Where's your African Michael Jackson? Where's your African uh, Jay Z? Where's your African uh, Beyonce? Where's your African Floyd Mayweather? Where's your African Prince? Right. Where's your African, you know, anybody who's great came from this geographical landmass. Everybody who's great, you know, are the progenitors of everything as far as like sports and music. Everybody wants to be like the people over in America. So how you that's how you know that the real chosen people are in this landmass, right? That's how you know. Because most Africans and most foreigners or whatever, they know all about we don't know nothing about what's going on in a sports arena. We don't know about the I mean, some for some people who listen to different types of music, but the, you know, the average American, you can ask them who's the best rapper in uh in Africa. They ain't gonna know that shit. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, it don't matter where you're from, everybody knows about the greats that come from this landmass. So that's how you know. So, like I said, it's one of those things where it's kind of like common sense. Let me see. I was going to ask about the original people. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. You were so trick and believe. Yeah, because like I said, the, the tricknology in itself, the out of Africa theory was uh connected to, you know what I'm saying, the uh the mythology of of uh monotheistic belief systems. That's what it was all connected to. That's why they do that. Yeah, they're they're very athletic, but like, you know, what I'm saying that's a, a no brainer. You know, what I'm saying because they have the the carbonated genetic. But what I'm saying is, the great majority of your people who are very prominent, as far as like you know, you know, sports, pop culture, you know, singing R B, the great majority of the greats come from this landmass. The only, uh, really, the only YouTube channel I really uh, watch, uh, I watch Dre OG, uh, I watch Black Magic, and uh, I watch the Young Elders channel. Those are the only channels I really watch because it's one of those things where, man, um, I don't really watch a lot of people's uh, information because I don't want it to compromise my information. You know what I'm saying? I like to stay focused because as a content creator, you got to be very meticulous about what you're putting out because some people are, oh, he put out the same thing he I put out. So I just kind of operate in my own frequency and get my own ideas and do my own research. Yeah, this uh the stream yard man is real choppy. I also uh, watch Truth Mafia, and I'm gonna be on Truth Mafia podcast tomorrow. If y'all wanna uh, tap in, we're gonna I'm gonna be on there. So Truth Mafia podcast, we're gonna be doing an interview tomorrow. Oh yeah, I watch a a seer, a suit Duke of Tears. He's a uh, he's a very good uh, teacher. I've been watching him since I was like a freshman in high school. So. I've been knowing about him for a long time. He he's very good with the uh, the esoteric information about the Moors, the history of the Mo not the Moors, but the indigenous Moors. Put it like that. Oh, I got some super chat questions. What's say? I'm a gold glove. Nah. 
No, because I'm going to tell you why. Uh, because anybody, you know what I'm saying, like as far as like the spiritual energy of you being a seer, you know what I'm saying, that means that you have some type of intrinsic, you know, energy that's connected to your bloodline. Why is the energy so to block the rock? Because like I said, that's that energy. That energy coming in is that etheric frequency. That's that non ether energy coming in, you know what I'm saying? You know, causing the uh the spiritual equilibrium of the planet to go back into a state of balancement. Because if you're energetically out of balance, it's gonna force you to be in balance. Yeah, YouTube is probably messed up because I, I never have trouble, you know, with a lot of, you know, with my videos or whatever, all my technological devices or whatever. I never have trouble. But today I have a lot of trouble. I couldn't even present my full presentation for it today because a lot of the lagging and the choppiness of the video. Hit me up with about. I need some more questions and then I'm probably get about five more questions in and I'm gonna head on out. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Can I stop paying my bills and taxes and car note and focus on my friends? I mean, <laughs> technically, you're not. We're not supposed to be paying bills anyway, because, like I said, everything that we have has a Q-SIP number on it, meaning that we're paying for it twice. So it's one of those things where, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to stop paying your bills. Like I said, it's up to you to have the the fortitude to do so. If you want to do that, then go on and do it. But like I said. You know, you we are at the apex of a system. So, you know, if the system phases out or whatever, you know, what I'm saying you're not going to hurt yourself if you not if you don't pay pay bills or something was to take place in the country and the money system collapse or whatever. But you know, just hypothetically speaking, if the money system collapsed, and you know, what I'm saying you're not going to be able to use the money anyway. So, I mean, it's up to you. One thing about Freemasons, they're basically foot soldiers for the Illuminati because you got low level Masons who don't even know what the hell is going on. You know, some just because you're a Freemason doesn't mean that you're a part of the Illuminati. You got some Freemasons, they just just they just join it just become uh, just to be a part of something, just to have a brotherhood. But does it mean that they're uh, connected to something that's benevolent? No, but it's all acclimated to. Freemasonry ain't nothing but Luciferianism. That's all it is. It's Luciferianism slapped on top of a so-called brotherhood. The, a lot of the places that you see as far as like the biblical uh, cities that's uh, named in America and uh, that's connected to uh, biblical context when you read the Bible a lot of these land masses in America were named here first before they was named over in the Middle East and Africa. That's a fact. So that's how you know that this is the true holy land. Let me see. Man, I'm glad you said this up here. Because like I said, there is a Jerusalem in uh, Virginia. Because that uh, that new solar eclipse that's going to be taking place on April 8th uh, is going through seven cities called Jerusalem and uh, no, Salem. So it's basically the suffix of the word uh, Salem, Jerusalem is. So it's going through seven cities called Salem that uh, 
that uh solar that solar eclipse that's going to be happening on uh april 8th and i think that's connected to the east coast as well i see your uh comments I'm going to get two more questions because my son is mad at me right now. So I'm going to get two more questions in. Yeah, I've been having problems with the video all day. Let me see. Everything is safe. Yeah, everything is compromised. Because like I told you, when, when you understand the inception point of their system, you go to Revelation 17, 17, uh, El's Holy and Jill, the evil reptilian gave power to the beast, right? So the beast is the Canaanite. The evil reptilian is the black nobility. Those are the cherubim. Those are the cherubim, the 200 fallen angels, the Nephilim. When you break down the etymology of the word Nephilim, you get Nephala in ancient Hebrew. So those fallen angels gave the power to the Babylonian B system and the Babylonian B system is comprised of, of controlling economics, politics, education, the food industry, movie industry, rap industry, they control everything. So everything that's, you know, connected to the system is being controlled by the archonic forces behind the scenes who control the Canaanite. That is your black nobility. That is the black hand, right? That is the black hand who controls everything through the five P's, which is uh, the penal system, uh, politics, philosophy, um, I think, yeah, patriarchy, and I think the other one is uh, uh, polo polytheism, right? Let me see. Those are the five P's of uh, occultism. You live in a occultic society, which is under Luciferianism. I'm going to take one more question. That's a good one in here. What are the top things I should be doing? I know what you meant as far as like ascension or whatever, evolution. The, the, hold on, my video is lagging again. Uh, the best thing you can do as far as for the ascension processes or whatever, work out, read, you know, sit in the steam room or sit in a sauna. You know what I'm saying? You got to get those sweat glands activated. Get your, that way you can open up your uh, energy cortexes, right? Because a lot of people have a lot of energy blockages. So when you get these new etheric frequencies coming into the planet and they vibrating, and your energy cortexes, they have blockages in them. It can it can basically cause you to get sick or even die. So get massages, work out, read, um, go to the sauna. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, vibrate, vibrate higher and be healthy. That's the best way you can, you know, prepare for the shift. I got a book recommendation. Hold on. I'm going to go get the book for you right now. I meant to have it out here already, but I'm going to get it for you in a second right now. Get this book right here. This book right here called, you see how thick it is? Yeah, this is one of the ones. It's called The Secret Ages of All Teachings by Manly P. Hall. It talks about chaos magic. It talks about all the rituals and everything they do in Freemasonry. 
very good book. It talks about the shift in the book, the age of Aquarius, the golden age. So I this I use this book. I've already read it like twice, but I'll use it as a reference point. This is a good book to go back and use it as a reference if you're doing like some extensive research. This book, this book is the one. A lot of knowledge in it. I got a super chat question. Let me see. The book was called L. I mean, the book is called uh, "The Secret Ages of All Teachings" by Manly P. Hall. I'm gonna do another book list video. Hold on, I'm lagging again. I'm do. I'm gonna do another book list video, and a, and the book list is gonna be based on the current events and the timeline that we're living in right now. That's what it's going to be about. So I might do that in probably like a week or so. Because in order to get clarity about what's going on, you got to read books because we living in the age of instant gratification because I know everybody wants shortcuts, you know, you, but in the age of Aquarius, you, you can't be subjected to short shortcuts. You know what I'm saying? You got to start reading these books and you got to understand who's who and what's what. You got to understand the delineation between good and evil. And the only way to do that is to study. But I know a lot of people don't want to read books. They don't like reading. I don't know why. I mean, I know why, but it, I don't get it, though. Uh, I'm going to get one more question in. As I was saying, we are in the age of instant gratification. The age of instant gratification is based on, you know, people needing uh, external stimulation. So they need sh they need a shortcut for everything. Like nobody wants to work hard for nothing nowadays. Nobody wants to work hard for nothing. You know, you living in a time right now, people don't even like to think. All right, let me see. I'm gonna get one one more question, a good question. Why the I'm gonna need a I'm gonna go to super chat, see what they talk about. All right, this is my last question. How can we break the matrix? How can we break the matrix as in the Salute to you. Outlaw Ty X, but hold on, I'm lagging on my end. Hold on. But the best way to break the matrix is to deviate from the old system. And when I mean deviating from the old system, like I said, no longer be in a state of in the age of belief. Because like I said, the age of Aquarius is all about the age of knowing. So that's how you deviate from it. That's how you uh, break break free from the mental simulation because the simulation in itself was connected to a fallacy, deception. Deception is belief because you believe their lies under his story, history. History is all told backwards. 
because you are you living in a luciferian society so the best way you know what i'm saying as far as like breaking free from the matrix do your shadow work and mentally break free from the system that's how you do it start participating in the elections you know what i'm saying because that's why you know as far as like the democratic party they propagate you know the voting uh ideology to black people because it's based on a form of warfare because it connects you right back to the 14th amendment which is a fraudulent contract because it was never ratified so what happens is when you connect yourself to the 14th amendment by way of the democratic party what happens is when you participate in fraud, you can't claim injury to the system. So that's why uh, a European, he can shoot you down in the street and get away with it, right? To where it's, there's no restitution or justice, right? And that's another thing that they're going to try to do with these elections. They're going to give off this uh, perception and this ideology of reparations. Don't fall for it because that's a form of technology. Because when you fall for the reparations ideology and when you fall for it, it connects you right back to the 14th Amendment, right? Which gives them extension on the corporation in itself. You see what I'm saying? Because this, they know that the end of the deep state shadow government, they know that the end of their system was connected to the Piscean age, patriarchy. Now we in a republic. Because you don't have United States citizens in a republic. Now, you got to understand the, the delineation between the United States of America and the United States for America. Hold on. I'm lagging again. Now, you got to understand the diametrical difference between the United States of America and the United States for America. The United States of America of denotes ownership of a people. Who's that ownership of? Your so-called blacks that's connected to the 14th Amendment. Now, the United States for America is under a republic that's galvanized by the people. The people are the ones who's supposed to be picking these uh, politicians and, and all these leaders and things of that nature. Right. So the United States of America controls the United States citizens. Right. Meaning that you don't have any privileges. Hold on. Yeah, I, I seen something up here. I'm going to speak about it because I thought about doing a video on it, but uh, I thought about doing a video on this movie, but this movie, um, uh, The Book of Clarence, it was basically talking about the return of a messianic figure. So that's what it, you know, because during this time period, they know by way of predictive programming and chaos magic and you know art imitates reality you know what they're going to do is you know they're going to have a, a false messianic figure that's going to come back to this planet and that's where you know a lot of people they're going to get tricked by the system they're going to believe because what's going to happen is is the planet is going to be in a state of desolation so much to the point where humanity is going to fall to their knees and they're going to be looking for a savior and that's when the messianic figure is going to come in the false messiah so that's a good movie i mean it was okay but it wasn't that good the soundtrack was trash yep this is our shit i keep saying i'm gonna get one more question in but i keep talking I don't really get to talk to y'all that much. I really don't speak too much about bloodlines on here. You know, whatever, blood types or whatever. But it says it's numerology or actual or cheat code to escape the metric. I'm a life bad one.
Hold on first. All right, I was lagging a little bit, but yeah, also you got it. Not only that, you also got to study uh, Vedic Gematria. Study Gematria because Gematria is connected to uh, the Metatronic overlay of the simulation. So, like I said, your Gematria body, you living in the simulation, is connected to the numerical components of the universe. So, Gematria, it'll tell you about certain things that's going to take place, not only that's acclimated to your life, but everything that's going on around you, because the simulation in itself operates on a binary code system of zeros and ones. And a zero is the personification of zero point energy, which is carbon. And the one is the personification of photons. Photons are trapped light. So when you trap light in a photon, right, you get carbon, which is physical density. So that's how you know that the Gematria body is connected to the metatronic overlay under a ley line grid system with a fermented dome over the planet. So everything as far as like the numerical components of, you know, uh, numerology and astrology, it's all connected to the matrix system. but you escape it by putting yourself by getting yourself in alignment, letting everything go. I'm almost done. All right, one more question. What do you think is so? Yeah, I keep, you know, I keep sending some good questions. And like I said, I don't really get to talk too much on here too much, so. Looking for a good good question. That way I can get out of here. What should we do there? Uh, I'm waiting for somebody to give me a question so I can get up out of here. What should you do? Uh. What's the best? Yeah, I'm going so fast in the chat, I can't even try to catch one. Uh, I'm gonna get one good question in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it. Answer this question because it's conducive to the timeline that we uh, living in. Um, <clears throat> the X, when you talk about, like I said, the X is the foundation of resurrection because that's what Osiris was was basically doing. So that's why you know uh, the propagation of the of the World Economic Forum, they're propagating that all throughout, you know, their media, because like I said, it's connected to uh, spiritual evolution. So that is by way of technological uh, radiation when you're talking about those nanoparticles, right? So when you have those nanoparticles in you because of the, you know, what happens is it causes uh, the P136 deletion syndrome, which basically dematerializes the two frontal lobes of the brain 
to where it activates a form of zombification. So when you have these new energies coming in, when you have that April 8th uh, solar eclipse, it puts an X over the planet. That is a new spiritual energy that's coming in. It's a spiritual energy of an etheric force that's basically going to cause a destruction, but it's going to activate the chosen while at the same time. So it's a supreme spiritual energy that's going to activate the X gene. The X gene, which gives you the capabilities of your spiritual gifts, which makes you an X man, right? So the symbology of the letter X, like I said, is also when you look at it, there is no, uh, it's basically like a broken um, infinity loop. You coming out of the loop, it's the end of an age, the building of destroying. So uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, be getting out of here so I could tend to my little man. So um, I'm going to be doing a, a book, a book review video sometime uh, next week. But I'm also going to have another video talking about artificial intelligence and technology and how it's being controlled by the draconian arconic factions. So uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for all the lagging. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't help that. I, I really don't even use StreamYard like that. But um, however, you know what I'm saying? We was able to get the transmission out. So uh, I appreciate everybody in the chat. Uh, thanks for watching this video. End of transmission.